In this video, we're going to show you how we set the amplifier gains to maximize performance and reliability of a system. In this particular vehicle, we've replaced all four speakers and are running everything off of a new multi-channel amplifier. We're going to use our oscilloscope to connect to the outputs of the head unit first to measure the maximum unclipped output so we have a good reference point. To do this, we're going to use a 1000 Hz test tone uh, and measure the output voltage from the radio at that point. You'll notice that the output voltage starts to come up as we turn the volume up. Uh, also notice where it says frequency. Uh, you're right at 1000 Hz, so you know you've got the right track. The graph that you see is a visual representation of the sine wave coming out of the head unit. What we're looking for on this graph is we want the peaks to stay rounded off. Uh, the rounded off peaks mean that they're not clipped. Clipping is what causes distortion, and that's what's going to end up blowing up speakers. Now it's time to turn up the output of the head unit and see where the maximum unclipped level of this particular model is. As we turn the volume up, you'll see the voltage come up. And it looks like the peak output of this head unit unclipped is going to be 1.143 volts. So that gives us a baseline to start and we'll set the amplifier itself up next. Now we're going to do the same thing that we just did with the head unit, only we're going to be measuring the output channels of the amplifier as opposed to the output channels of the head unit. So to do that, we're going to disconnect the RCA input from the head unit and go ahead and connect the speaker level output of the amplifier to our oscilloscope. Get the probes on there. We'll also then connect the RCA outputs of the head unit to the inputs of the amplifier to complete the signal path. Now with that same 1000 Hz test tone, we're going to be ready to measure the output level of this particular amplifier. This is where we're going to use the gain adjustment, and you see we've got the same frequency on the oscope here. As we turn the gain up, the voltage starts to come up. You see the amplitude of the sine wave increasing as well. And it looks like this one is going to have a peak unclipped output right around 15.7 volts. Now we're going to show you an illustration of what happens when you overdrive the amplifier uh, into clipping and into distortion. Uh, the first thing that you're going to notice as we start to bring the voltage up uh, is the amplitude of that sine wave is going to get pretty big and then you're, it's going to start to square off on the peaks. You can see how it flattens out there. At this point it is now clipping. Uh, clipping is what's going to lead to distortion which is also what leads to speakers getting damaged. Uh, another thing to notice is the frequency itself that is playing jumps from right around 1000 Hz to 2000 hertz and then jumps up to 3000 hertz at a, at a peak. Uh, and what that is is a visual representation of the fundamental tone uh, playing the first and second harmonics, which is all distortion at that point. So all that energy that it's creating uh, is nothing but distortion going through your speakers, and that's what's going to cause them to get damaged and eventually blow. Something else we can learn from the information we get from the oscilloscope is the actual output wattage of the amplifier. Uh, with a pretty simple math formula, we can figure out what the amplifier is actually doing uh, as far as driving your speakers. Uh, to do that, what we'll do is we'll take the output voltage, square it, and then divide it by the nominal impedance of the speaker that's being connected to that channel. Uh, if you remember, our maximum unclipped output voltage of this amplifier was 15.7 volts. Uh, when you square that and then divide by the 4-ohm speaker load that's going to be connected, we end up with 61.62 .62 watts, uh, which is actually right on because this amplifier is rated by its manufacturer to produce 60 watts of output, so you know it's, a, it's an accurate rating that they give you. Also, by using that same math, we can figure out how much distorted output was coming out when we were clipping the outputs of that amplifier. If you take that 25 volts of output that we had when it was completely squared off, we can you apply the same math and find out that that amplifier was actually producing 156 watts. However, almost 95 watts of that was completely distorted and clipped. Uh, so you got that much power going to your speakers that can potentially damage them. From here, we'll use our ears to fine-tune the system. Any channels that need to be adjusted can be adjusted down to blend with the rest of the system. But because we set everything with the oscilloscope, we know where our maximum unclipped outputs are, so we can maximize the performance and reliability of your system. This is